Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Eric Martinez from Dynamic Duo Training and this is Chris Martinez and today's video is on what? Hit time, baby. Hit time. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to we're going to talk about two <laughs> protocols on hit cardio, okay? First one's going to be on sled drags, the second one's going to be on good old, you know, regular sprinting, okay? So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the sled drags, okay? Basically, I'll give a little overview of what hit cardio was and what it actually, or what it is and actually how, you know, it's, it works and why we think it's so effective. Basically, uh, Jacob Wilson and his team over in uh, Tampa University, uh, University of Tampa, have done some research on uh, hit cardio. And what they're thinking is that the, the hit cardio is, you know, draining the energy cells so drastically that it has to add in more nutrients to take in. And when that happens, um, you know, it leads to, um, you know, greater mito mitochondria thickness. And when that happens, that leads to, you know, a greater capacity of fat loss. Okay, and then I'm going to be um, demonstrating just good old fashioned all out sprints and before i get into break it down a little bit i mean just a good example is um, i know everybody had to take a glimpse of the olympics that just passed up i mean it is just absolutely amazing if you compare a sprinter's body as opposed to a marathon runner's body it is just night and day it is ridiculous okay they're just more built and i mean the reason why they're built is because those short bursts of sprints recruits more muscle fibers as opposed to just running your ass off for hours and hours and hours and you're not building muscle okay so pretty much why we really emphasize sprinting is um, it causes less decrement in muscle size and strength as opposed to just regular running which you know causes more muscle damage okay so and if, a good example I'm gonna throw out right now is like you know when you're sprinting you get more of hip flexion and knee flexion okay so it's almost the same it's very similar biomechanically to a squat and a leg press as opposed to running you're not doing that okay and that's about it uh, so we're going to show you guys some demonstrations and protocols on um, hit cardio with sled dragging and good old spring okay so stay tuned if you guys got any questions shoot us an email leave us a comment here on youtube um, we'll put the protocols on a wordpress so you guys can get them down exactly and make sure to you know visit us at facebook Twitter, Instagram, and you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? Peace. Let's hit it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna do the first sprint interval on the sled dragging, okay? So basically, I just got a sled right there with some weight on it. I got a harness right here that's gonna just attach right here, just a little bit below my belly button, so it's pretty comfortable and it's not too painful. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprint the hell out of it just for about 30 seconds, you know, all I have, everything I got, okay? maximum effort after that i'm just probably going to walk around for about maybe you know two to four minutes depending on my heart rate how i'm feeling okay and then just repeat it maybe three four more times just depending on how my body feels right ready let's go gentlemen so the protocol for the sprinting of the hit cardio that I'm gonna do is gonna be first I'm gonna pretend like I did a 10 minute brisk walk just to get myself going then I'm gonna do 10 intervals okay so I'm gonna try to sprint 10 to 15 seconds all out okay and then I'm gonna walk for 45 seconds and then repeat that 10 times okay after I do my 10 intervals then I'm just gonna go do another 10 minute brisk walk and just cool down okay Let's do it. Let's do it. 